Fritz Lang's silent movie Spies was made in 1928. It wouldn't be the same without live accompaniment on a cinema organ, and this one is almost as old as the film itself. It was built 80 years ago, and it still helps bring the film to life with both music and sound effects. It's a very unique instrument, and it can create some extraordinary effects. From an artistic point of view, a piano is much more appealing. But this instrument is also about show, and that's important too. The Babylon Cinema is located in the heart of the German capital. When it was first built, it was one of the most sophisticated cinemas in the city. Today, it's a listed building, and every two weeks, it screens silent films. The cinema organ is a major draw. Hans-Joachim Eichberg is the man who got it working again. He spent four years restoring the vintage instrument. This is the last organ I'll probably ever work on. It's completely unique. It was made in 1929. It was the largest cinema organ in Berlin. And playing an instrument like this really is something very special. These are the sound effects. You can have bird song, telephone bells, trains, the sound of hooves. The heart of the organ, as it were, beats up here. That's where the two levels of organ pipes and sound effects are located. The organ can imitate 34 different sounds, including galloping horses and a speeding steam train. These moving slats modulate the volume. The organ was highly innovative for its time. When this cinema opened in 1929, a cinema organ was seen as something of a luxury, although they weren't that uncommon. I'm just glad they bought it, because just one year later, the talkies came along and they were no longer needed. The Babylon Cinema employs five organists, each with their own personal style. Silent films with live accompaniment are hugely popular with connoisseurs of the silver screen. I've always loved silent movies. I love the way the actors move. They're always so overly made up. They have a surreal quality that I really like. They're very unnatural. Well, I'm a theater major, so I, I think it's, uh, it's a way of acting. And it's a way of expressing yourself without using language. In a way, it's so much more expressive, even though there's less talking. It has more to do with atmosphere and mood. A visit to the Babylon Cinema in Berlin is a trip back in time that is well worth taking.